Hello, friends and fellow adventurers. I feel a little ridiculous with the antlers on my head. I feel like this is some serious cosplay. We've really committed. I like the beagle light armor. I mean, it, it looks absurd in a way, but it like like this way, it looks pretty good. At any rate, let's go visit the uh, the Tambas and uh, tell them our report. Hugh, I finished the research like you asked. Nort, good. What have you found? The sigil represents a faction that all other species fought against, and I even found that humans were a part of the alliance. It must be the hero that I saw earlier who joined in. Well, in fact, the idea the conflict spawned a lot of new armor and ideas for all species, as I saw in the meeting room. Wait, you actually found the council's location? Yes, not very far from here. We will have to see it at once. What a breakthrough. Nobody would lead us there. Hugh, and I, I should go to the vault, uh, show the outfinding back home and tell them about the humans as soon as I can. Impatient as ever, the key is upstairs in the desk queue. Before you storm out again, you have been spreading a lot of rumors around uh, Albemarle, correct? It was necessary for the research. Aye, but do you know that all species seem to have grown stronger because of it? They are upgrading their villages quicker than ever based on what you've introduced. Which is amazing for trading, but be careful out there. You're stepping on a lot of toes. New Island State Your research affected the villages of Albemarle. All settlements can now reach their technological peak. Upgraded villages have great numbers and will send more guards with their traders and gatherers. They will build better armor and the village trader will offer even more interesting items. What? I like this. So, the incentive for us to go and trade and do find out more interesting stuff. I hope that whatever I find in the next vault will show the others that we can live around here. Let's go. Also, turn the light on. It's dark in here. Somebody's going to trip. I don't want to be responsible for that. You guys... I know uh, you, it's just, it's dank in here. You need to he heat the place up a little bit. All right, so, oh, should we tell him? The human thing? Surely he's figured it out by now, no? Surely. Quest completed. New quest, the second vault. I don't want to hear about the second vault. I don't want to hear about vaults. Okay, let's find out where the second vault is. Uh, it's a ways away. Can we... No, we've made everybody cheesy. All we have is cheesy friends. Okay, we're just going to hoof it over there. Let's do it. So, use the key to open the, uh, the one of the other two vaults. Hold the phone. Well, what's... Sorry, where's the other one? I, I wasn't zoomed out far enough. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Two vaults. I'm going to go to this one. Oh, I don't have any travel kits. Let's make a travel kit. Oh, <laughs> uh, where's my travel kit at? There we go. Okay. Oh, let's do it. I gotta say it all dramatically and then fail to do it. Let's do it. All right, over this way. I'm coffeeed up. I'm ready to go. We've got this. We can. We got our brain power juice. We can manage this. I believe in us. <laughs> Don't think this should be too... F oh, am I looking at the right one? No. <laughs> I don't believe in us. <laughs> Runs in the wrong direction for ten minutes. Oh. Alright, we're on the right track now. I don't know. I don't know if it matters which vault I pick. And I don't know that they're actually going to be a vault puzzle. So I'm trying to remain optimistic here. I Like, they might just be super easy. I, I think we also know what tricks this game is going to throw at us. I don't feel like it's throwing a lot of new stuff. Oh, hello. Let's interact. What? Albemarle Vault, Ancient Stables. Oh, I don't like this. this. is a race. I see racing stuff. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, hey. What's going on, my dude? Wes. Oh, the human. Just in time. I do hope you still know me, Wes. Easily the most active of the Tambas. For a few decades now, I've been thinking about rebooting our research center, perhaps. I started off with some basic critter rearrangement, but I haven't yet been able to get them back into their pens. Guess I lost that magic touch. <laughs> Why am I just in time? Well, I'll tell you what. There's a valuable tool inside that y your kin used to use. If you help me out with the critter stuff, I'll, I'll let you keep it. 
And what will you be doing? I have a lot to do. Visual oh, it's all saying what? Uh, visualizing your next steps. Perhaps you can go along, fetch the tool, and put at least one of each critter back in their pen. Cheers, human. Okay. Explore the ancient stables. Okay. So, I see. And that's going to be to close it once we get it in here. Okay. Uh-huh. So how do we do this? I don't... Hey. Okay, I can't actually physically... Well, this one I can kind of interact with, but... I don't uh, know exactly what I'm going to need to do. Okay, did he say he gave me a tool? Or did he call me? Let's see. Um, crafting. No, I'm not seeing... Shin guards. No, uh, I'm not seeing any other tool. What? Okay, let's explore the stable. So let's, I guess, just go and explore this first. Let's do that. Oh, this was that area we were trying to get in. Okay. <laughs> I totally wasn't putting two and two together. Hello. This was the area I was trying to get into at the beginning of the game. I love it. Finally, 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 we can get in here. Cool. What does this do? It's only one way to find out what something does, and that's to shoot rocks at it. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's a stone breaking tool. Oh, that's cool. He's making an auto chisel. And then there's this one here. Did we hit that one? No, nothing popping out. All right, well, that's cool still. Nice idea. Okay, he's got a monster in the pen. Seems a bit weird, but, you know. Okay. How are y'all doing? I was going to go through you. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. What's this whole racing thing about here? I should definitely pull some levers. Oh, I think I probably need to um, have some drinking potion. Well, I'm doing a poor job of this. I don't think we're going to beat the land record. Oh boy, can we do it? I don't think so. Oh, okay, so we need to drink a speed boost. Do I have any left? Stamina brew. No, I don't want that. So let's see here. Uh, clash mixture idea. Stamina brew. Tenacity. Uh, spurt mixture. Move faster. Yeah, we'll drink. Oh, uh. Okay, so let's. And then let's interact. Now, hopefully, this holds out. So he's gonna be impressed with like the speed with which we are able to uh, complete this. He's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you just broke land speed records. And we're almost there. Do we did it, we shattered the records. Okay, now we can get into this pen. Interesting. I see I wouldn't have thought that that was an essential thing. I don't know. It's so bizarre. Dude, wake up. Do we have to get it into the pen? Is that what we're trying to do here? Is there a pen for this one? I would have thought that was its pen. Is that, that's this thing? I don't know. I, I can't even tell what that is. It looks like a catfish.
Okay, I guess that was it. <laughs> okay, so now what? Uh, I guess we'll go inside and check out what's going on in here. That was kind of cool. The Waddle Tooth is a strange blend of creature, part canine, part aquatic. Their most vulnerable skill is their impeccable sense of smell. They can find resources deep underground. One problem is they often put them in there in the first place, but at least they retrieve them. Okay, so we've just learned something about them. I see, this is the tools we're going to need in order to um, get stuff done. I love abandoned bookcases in games. I wish you could read, like, everything. That was one of my favorite things in The Witcher. It wasn't the lore within the books, it was just the books themselves. The idea that you could just go and, like, steal books. <laughs> Same with uh, Skyrim. I like that idea. I just want to flip a table here. Can't, can't a man just flip a table? All right, let's go, I guess, upstairs. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on here. Okay. Cool. What's this room? Looks dangerous. I definitely look like I shouldn't do things. Day 203, finding out about ways to make resources into something more grabbable. Using our well-known pins for this now. With a few simple tools, materials can be attached to the pins. This could be breakthrough in our Lumaconda tooth experiment. Okay. So let's check it out. What do we got going on here? Okay, we got all kinds of pins. I see that one's not grabbable. This one is grabbable though. Oh, what's going on back here? I see the pin there. Okay, that's, wow. I love houses, like, designs like this in games. They they make me happy. It's not, uh, like, I don't feel like I'm going to be utterly boggled. See, why is this one kind of glowing? That's kind of weird. Oh. Oh, I see. I haven't put a stone in this one yet. Interesting. I see. So, um, this is the thing they're using to smash the tip of this. So, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, find something else to put in here. There is a... Okay, there's this one. They've all got different... These are all different pins, I see. That one doesn't have anything in it yet. Uh-oh. I just put it through a wall. Oop, let's take this. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. These seem a little excessive. But, you know, things should be. The Alpa fence are, by, are the largest critters on Albumare and by far the most useful. Carrying a lot of baggage is no problem for them and it increases everyone's traversal speed a lot. We're testing their stamina and speeds in our humble grounds. Not always effective, but they seem to enjoy it too. Okay, that's cool. Now, where else do I have information in this floor? What do we got here? Puffles. Aren't they just adorable? We believe their natural attraction makes them everybody's favorite. They're harmless and a bit useless, but not entirely so. We discovered a most agile and bouncy spine, which makes them perfect as a jumping pad. The humans seem to love this about them and have amended their taming bands for it. Okay. The scariest of all critters is, of course, the bleaker. Getting it to our grounds and letting it to obey us was no easy effort. They are stubborn, relentless, and aggressive. Their emissive antennas hold many mysterious and powerful qualities, yet the bleaker is hard to tame, even though the humans seem to do it more effortlessly with their bands. Gain their loyalty and gain you a very powerful ally in combat. Uh. So we banned them, I guess, is where they're our warhorse situation. I'm going to smash my head into some bookshelves here. Okay, that seems to be it on this floor. There's more going on upstairs. So uh, this I can't grab here. Okay, yeah, we did that. Oh, I put it on the floor. That's where I put it. Okay. So, yeah, interesting. I can't do anything else. Um, let's take this one out. 
what if I just like pull this thing in general? No, that doesn't give us any brilliant ideas. See, I find this odd. So we've got these. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't want. I don't want to do that. This it's dry, It's kind of irritating me. Like this pin here. No, 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 no. Okay, I think it tells me. Okay, there we go. It says take item. Okay, there we go. Oh, I had it. There we are. Take it. I just want to get it out of the way here. Okay. Okay, so... Why why can't I get this? It seems to me that there is a... thing going on here. I mean, we're, we're obviously, like, something's, something's obvious and not allowing us to do it. That's frustrating. Uh, all right, so we've seen this stuff. Let's go now out uh, outside, I think. Oh, hold the phone. No, we haven't seen all of this area yet, have we? Oh, hello. That pulls a bookcase. Secret bookcase, isn't it? No? Yeah, interesting. I think I'm gonna pull it out still. Oh, what what did I just do? Oh. That's interesting. Why is there stiff rope and stuff back there? Okay, let's interact here. Oh. Oh, I see it's a it's a puzzle. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm kind of leaving every book pulled out. Oh, hold the phone. Here we go. <laughs> uh okay, so Oh, what? What? Why did that just do that? All right, good as new. We, we aren't even broken anymore. Now, uh, yeah, so it showed these different elements here. Um, again, I, I think it's we should have this book pulled out. And then the... The one over here pulled out. This one pushed, uh, no, push that one in. Push that one in. Push that one in. I think that's it. Or is that the other way around? Oh, oh hold up, there was two. That other one, never mind. This one, push that in. Push that out. Is that it? There we go. There, that's proper. Okay. Ooh. We've yet to see any actual Lumenconda, the supposedly enormous anguine creature exploring the night, but it did sink its teeth into some of the trees in our grounds, so we're now conducting experiments in the library. The goal is to find out what their teeth can get through, or rather what they cannot get through. So far, some of the hardest materials have not ch chipped anything off. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh. Attic key idea. We might have found the hardest material on the island, albeit not the most hygienic. Yes, the man Manoth Callus has proven to be almost indestructible. We've been trying to chip off parts to use in crafting in the back of the stables between the bleaker and the wattle teeth. Its strange qualities seem to require that it, you hit it in a certain order. F north, south, west. Then be, c then be calm and let it nicely rest. North, south, west. Okay. Then we, we have a little puzzle there. And... The wings of the legendary Adarna bird, such as the qualities we have rarely seen in any object. Lucky for us, the Adarna seem to leave feathers behind in the trees near the water. Okay. Uh, okay, and how do we get to this area here? That is problematic, isn't it? Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, hold up. Is there anything off in that space? Yeah, I can't tell. Okay, um, we wanted to get up up to this area here. How do we get up there? Hmm, I wonder if we have to go outside for this. Probably. North, south, west. I'll have to remember that, and we'll see if we can't find uh, something good there. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, so let's make the add a key. Uh, okay, I see. We haven't found the resources, so we need to get these resources. Nice, and it's just a pile of stuff that we need to get. Uh, places that we can try to get locked into. <laughs> okay, well, well, that's great. That's good. We've gotten this far. So now we need to go outside and find the resources. This shouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's... Uh, where's that giant smashy thing? So there's something that said by the pond... Uh, was it, it's not in the pond, is it? We're going to have to do something to get it, I'm sure. Oh, did I see something up in the tree? Yeah, there we go. So how do we get that? Do we have to use our, our jumping juice? No, that doesn't seem to want us to do that. Okay, do I have to just hit it? There we go. Okay, we got a wing. Now let's go get, um, I feel like there was something we needed to do there. Let's do this one first. Okay, so, oh, there's the blubber heads there. Okay, uh, let's look at our map. So we are facing north. Okay, so this, and then the other side. Okay. North. South. West. There we go. Manoth Callus. And then you little blubbers here. What was the deal with you? Do I need to give you a rub? Rub down? Is that what we need to do? Me and my new bud. My new bestie. We're just chilling. We got a similar look. We got a similar appearance. We got a similar outlook on life. Oh, look at you. You are cute. You are seriously adorable. Look at these things. Oh, that's adorable. That's a family photo. Hold up. I'm going to get on this side. I'm going to get on. Just hold still. Can I? Can we ride? Can we ride? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yippee indeed. Okay, so what do I need to do with these things again? And I'm assuming it's that. We needed... Oh, we needed two of the wings and Illuminaconda teeth. Oh, these are the big boys that we needed to take over. Oh. Okay. So... Oh, this thing... Yeah, you can't wipe this thing out. Okay, no dental work for this bad boy. Okay, so we're not meant to wipe that one out. All right. That's fair. So we need to go get the other tooth. What about you guys? What What's the deal in here? What am I supposed to do with you guys? So how did that thing get out of its pen, I'm wondering? So let's look out for the other feather. We'll get that first, I guess. Huh. Okay, well we found, was that, did two feathers fall or just the one? Uh, 
Not seeing anything else here. Hmm. I'm wondering if they just respawn. Interesting, interesting. Also, I'm intrigued by the uh, the layout of this house. I'm wondering if there is other areas that we have yet to uh, find out about. Okay, so I'm going to need to get another feather. I don't want to have to, like, wallop this thing. And using our uh, the powers of our, uh, whatchamacallit, um, slingshot, that seemed to be fine. That worked just fine for us. Okay, so either I'm going to have to just wait for another one. Or I need to... Maybe it's in another tree? Let's just check around here. It's quite plausible it's in another tree, even. These trees are rather magnificent. Ah, there we go. <laughs> sure enough. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get out the other... Oh, stop staring directly into the sun. It's not good for you. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've got... Uh, oops. Uh, we need the Lumen Conda Tooth. Okay, so we'll just we'll figure out how to get that. So I think we'll take a break here because we got a bit to go still. Next time we'll get the Lumen Conda Tooth and get on with the next stage here. I like this. Uh, this one's enjoyable as this isn't like too horrifying. Uh, hopefully I don't have to commit dental surgery on that little uh, bad boy there. Oh, I've cheesed it off. I've cheesed off. I think I'll go indoors before I die. All right. We will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.